Hello everybody, Stuart here from Stubu Gaming. Today I'm looking at Torchlight 2. Now, I played the original Torchlight on PC, and I played Torchlight 2 on PC as well. But uh, this is the first time Torchlight 2 has been on console. Um, I believe Torchlight the original one came to Xbox, but it never made it to PlayStation, so I'm quite excited that this has finally made it to the PlayStation um, platform. So, what is Torchlight 2? Well, as you can probably see from what's happening on screen, Torchlight 2 is an action RPG um, in the vein of a very colourful um, Diablo. The reason for that is quite simply it was developed by some of the original development team from Diablo. Um, they went on to create a company called Flagship Studios um, and they worked on a game called Hellgate London and they were working on a game called Mythos which I was lucky enough to be a beta tester for. Now unfortunately Flagship Studios themselves found themselves in trouble when Hellgate London didn't do as well as they expected. Um, now realistically if you do a search for Hellgate London the concept and the actual game itself were really good. I think the implementation was a little bit underwhelming and the netcode that they were using for this online shooter, looter shooter, way before its time was uh, unfortunately not good enough. So there was lag, there were, there were hell real big problems. But anyway, the developers who were working on Mythos at the time decided that they weren't going to go down with the ship, quite rightly so, and they broke away and formed Runic Games. Now Runic Games made Torchlight. So that's a bit of the background. And as you can see, Torchlight is a very cartoony, very colourful, very nice looking action RPG. Now you obviously have quite a, a range you just get here? of uh, camera scope that you can use. Okay, so I'm actually playing this live, this isn't a voiceover, so you'll have to bear with me if I do go quiet at some point. Um, it's not intentional to uh, be annoying, it's literally just me concentrating because I'm playing this on veteran mode. Um, probably stupidly because I thought, well I've played the game before, but obviously that was on... Well I use trackball, but that was on a uh, trackball and a keyboard rather than a controller. So you can imagine it's a completely different control scheme. Um, and it's a completely different UI and everything else as well. So uh, it was probably a little bit of a stretch to do this first time. Okay. I mean, you can probably see that these Ratlins, one of the things that they have is flee when allies perish. Now, anyone who played Diablo 2 will know exactly what that's like. When you're trying to fight some of the enemies in that, they all run away when you're trying to destroy them because their friends have been killed. And it got extremely frustrating, but made sense at the same time. So, um... The only thing that now I really wish had happened is that, uh... The makers of Diablo had decided to release Diablo 2 as a retro game on console. Um, I think that would have been brilliant, but that's just me. Now, you might notice that in this game, unlike most games, the pet is actually doing something. So, in this game, pets are combat pets. They are a second fighter, which, in my opinion, is brilliant. But, what's even better is I need to try and work out the controls they actually have their own inventory so we have send pet to town what fish they've got what items they've got what skills they've got you can get them to go shopping for you 
there's a load of different things that you can actually get them to go and do. And when you send them to town, if I go back to inventory, um, when you send them back to town to buy stuff, you can send them to sell stuff as well, which is just brilliant. Saves a lot of toing and froing. Okay, so you might have noticed then that when that tunic got equipped, if I rotate my character a little bit, the character changed in look. And as with all of the uh, ARPGs as they should be, your character does change appearance while you're playing. Now, I can foresee myself doing quite a big Let's Play series on this because Torchlight Frontiers comes out soon and I think that's probably why they have just released Torchlight 2 on console because they're trying to drum up a player base for Frontiers when it comes out. Now, Torchlight 2 is currently only £15.99 on the UK PlayStation Store and that's not going to go up. That is the price of the game because it's been out for so long now. So we can we can pretty safely say that it's a cheap game for what you're going to get. This game is actually really big. I never completed it on PC because by the time I was coming up to completion, PlayStation 4 had released and yeah, it, it was I moved over to the PlayStation rather than my um, Microsoft Surface because my Surface really wasn't the best uh, machine to game on. So I think this is without doubt the better platform to play this on for me at least. Okay, so let what have we got? We've got an enchanted let's go for the enchanted mace, shall we? That will increase my damage output. Now I wish I'd have seen the fact I'd got a broadsword first. There we go. So What's your here? Uh, okay. Excellent. Ooh. Unidentified gloves. Key has a chest carved on it. Right, so the, the ch chests in this particular game, there are chests located in the world. And when you find a golden key, you've got to go and find the chest. So it does promote exploration. Now, I don't know any other game that promotes exploration in quite as meaningful way that you will get a loot reward if you actually do go and explore. Um, that to me is probably the best way you could possibly get people to go and look at the world. Oh, whole house is on fire. Don't want to go and get burnt. Oh, that, there we go. There we go. That's. Uh... I will go into most of this as we go through. Um, there is a a slight problem with uh, this game compared to the PC version that people have complained about. Now, for me, I'm not overly fussed about it, but other people have made the uh, complaint that there is no second weapon slot. So on PC, you can do quick weapon changes, so you will have one weapon set equipped and you will end up putting a second weapon slot on and when you press W you can quickly switch between equipment slots. Now supposedly that doesn't happen in the console version. Which is quite annoying because what you could do is you could have the engineer that I'm currently playing, you could have them equipped with a melee weapon in their first slot and a ranged weapon in their second slot for distant characters and it did work quite well. So we'll have to see exactly what gameplay difference that makes. Now the user interface and everything is different enough as it is anyway so anything they did was going to be different because there's certain limitations when you're playing on a console for instance. Um, you can zoom in and out of the map I've just realised by pressing up and down on the d-pad. You can press right on the d-pad to change your map style which is quite nice. Um, left on the d-pad doesn't seem to do anything
So primary attack X, initial secondary attack is zero, uh, circle or zero, depending on what you want to say. Um, pretty standard fare, at least in the outset. Okay. just trying to remember what some of these functions and features are because when I'm attacking I have a blue bar that goes around my health and mana globe and that blue bar keeps crawling up every time I kill something but when I use my circle ability it um, drops down slightly so I'm just wondering whether that is like a rage meter and I can't honestly remember. The control scheme does seem to work. They seem to have done quite a good job on... Uh, Seem to have done quite a good job on this, which is nice. I'll do. I, I, I'm not sure whether that was the right thing to do, but we'll. Hmm, does seem to be. Okay, so that one has plus one to critical hit chance, conveys five physical damage over five seconds, so basically almost gives a bleed effect. So it's a slightly better version of the one I've got at the moment, which can't be bad. So we have our skills, Constriction, Blitz and Aegis. So let's have a look at Construction. I've got two skill points. So let's put one into Healing Bot, press and hold X. X to go to bindings, I can equip that to anything I want, which is nice. So if I put that as a healing bot, you can do potions, you can um, learn spells as well. So not just the skills you've got, but you can actually find spells in the world and learn those. So there is quite a lot to... Uh, to look at, to be fair. Um, right, shield bass, force field overload. There's lots, lots and lots and lots. Um, seismic slam, ember hammer, heavy lifting. Skill with jump weapon allows you to attack faster and has a chance to stun. Okay, let's go for that. That seems more like a passive. Which it is. So that's my skill points used. Um, you also have fame, and the fame determines what title you get. So there's lots of things to take into consideration. You have received a quest. Hey. You talk to lots of people, obviously. So you got Theos. So let's go and sell some of the other stuff that I've got. Um, that's equipped. Oh, buy it back that walkie bit because I didn't want to get rid of that. What was that other thing that I sold that I wasn't sure about? Oh no, it's fine. Um, right tunic. I seem to. Yes, I did. I sold my. I sold my armor for some strange reason. OK. 
Okay, so I think that's it for the time being. Statistics. Sign stat points. Strength, dex, focus or vitality. Well, let's put... What did I need for that weapon? 27 on level 6. Ugh. Not ideal. Um, Because I might need to... Well, I think initially at least my... If I put my strength up. Because this is going to go a strength and vitality character. Um... Mm, dunno. I might go strength and focus. Because I can just find better armour. Anyway, I will decide. So all of this is my character information by the look of it. Fumble damage penalty minus 72%. Whoa, that's terrible. Um, there's lots of things working in the background of this. So right hand, 39 damage per second. Okay, fair enough. Um, right, quests. Protect the Guardian. Go through the path of the honor dead to the temple steps. Enter the wellspring and ensure that the Guardian water is safe. War beast. Obtain the armor schematic from the beast warrens in the temple steps. Okay, so we've got to go to the same area anyway. We have got... An ember start. Open sockets. Okay. So what will this do in armor? It gives me... Eight fire armor. If I put it in a weapon, eight, seven fire damage. Okay. I'm not going to bother putting that into those gloves. So what else we got? Potions. No fish. No pet. Tags. No collars. No pet spells. No spells for me. No, I've got two scrolls, but no maps. Okay. May I assist you? Again, loads of different things. Dynamite for fishing. Excellent. Um, vomit, cinch. Don't particularly want to start spending money on things like that just at this stage. Um, so again, you can go fishing and you've got to tie that bar up with a circle in the middle. As soon as it touches the circle in the middle, that's when you have to press X. Not when it gets close. But when it touches and highlights. And these fish, by the way, do special things. And those things can happen to your pet as well. So if I was to use a fish such as the webfish transforms into a spider for five minutes. Now press X to feed it to your pet. So all of these work on your pet. So, transforms into a mole beast. Or a war beast. So, let's transfer it to... Now look at my dog. Now each one of those has... Special abilities. So I've just summoned my healing drone. Or healing automata, as you can see. So, what does my pet do now? Change your pet stance at the moment. is defensive. Not, not exactly sure what he does. Um, but that's me rather than the game, <laughs> to be fair. I forgot to read what it actually makes your pet do. It probably just increases his attack power or something similar. Some of the others make them spread uh, 
web and things like that, especially when you use the web fish. Okay. So I'm not going to go into uh, too much depth today. Um, this is literally just a quick look. I wanted to uh, show you guys Torchlight 2. Um, I have always actually really liked playing the game. It's uh, colourful to the point where Diablo would have been negatively impacted and indeed was negatively impacted by it. Um, but I think that's because Diablo had always been a gothic game and this was always marketed from the offset as a colourful, almost cartoony ARPG, but not to the... Um, detriment of the gameplay which was very important because I think if they'd have done it where the gameplay itself suffered um, there would have been severe problems but they did it quite well in as far as the gameplay is still quite a mature gameplay feature um, but the actual aesthetic is very unique to this particular game I'm sure I just picked something up then, but I couldn't tell you what it was. Curse chest. Nice. Light breaches. Did I put those straight on? Yeah, I did. Excellent. So, you can see my character has completely changed in look since I first started. And indeed, she's now got... Uh, much better if I take those gloves off there you go so you can see there's a significant change to the character's appearance which I that's what I like about these sorts of games um, so I'm gonna get to the entrance of this place um, actually there is a quest in there that I've just got from her so I'm going to leave it there for this video. Um, as I say, first look, actually very impressed with the way they've converted this for the PlayStation. Um, £15, and when last I counted on the PC version, I'd got over 25 hours worth of gameplay and I still hadn't finished it. So, it's a significantly big game for the price. And if it does create more awareness of the particular game, franchise before the release of the next installment then i'm all for it to be honest um i'm really glad it has come to the console i think the control scheme and the user interface has been done very very well i think they could have improved some of the um icons because some things do seem quite jagged character models very nice but some of the things like the question mark that's on the screen at the moment does seem to be quite jagged um the Manor and health globes and the icons for the spells seem quite jagged so I think they've used the original textures from the PC version which is obviously quite old. Um, so the the opening cutscene as well was very very jagged so they've done nothing to that. So there are things that they could have done better but you can't really complain for such a low price. Well guys that's definitely going to be it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please do make sure you click that like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Um, I do cover a lot of ARPGs and indeed a lot of loot-based games in general. So if you're into your loot-based games, whether they be looter shooters, ARPGs or other types, then please do make sure you subscribe. Click the bell icon so you're notified when I do upload those videos and make sure that it's set to all notifications. Otherwise YouTube will tell you what you want to see and they might be wrong. Um, and if you want to support my channel, please do click and go to my Patreon page, which is www.patreon.com forward slash stubu. Um, and if you feel like pledging, brilliant, that would be really helpful. Well, leave a comment down below. What do you think of Torchlight 2? Um, have you ever heard of it? Have you seen it on the store? Did you know the game existed? 
because I think the marketing for some of these download only games is very very limited because there's no shelf space for them. The original Torchlight did come on disc even though it was PC only and that is where I first found it so it's one of those things where digital's good as long as it's marketed properly and I'm pretty confident in saying that this game hasn't been so let me know down below whether now that I've done this video you're interested in trying it. Thanks very much for watching guys I really do appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you for my next video very very soon. Bye for now.